Hey everybody, it's, it's Jordan with pdq.com. Uh, we're here today about talking about uh, speeding up your scripts. Uh, before, we've been showing a lot of uh, onesie, twosie commands here, little little ads here. But more likely than not, if you're automating your environment, you've come into a point where you've written a script and it just takes longer than you would like to complete. Uh, there are some limitations there, but there are also things that you can do to, to speed that up. Uh, so the, the best option you have for this one is to you know, take something that's existing that's running slow and work on speeding that one up and it'll let you see exactly where you can add it. And you can make it your default going forward, but you can definitely learn better about speeding up by existing scripts. Uh, the best way to find out how long is something taken, there is a command in PowerShell called uh, measure-command. And you can just send that through and it will report how long it took to run everything. Uh, to kind of give an idea, and this is break down our first, uh, first way to speed things up, we have here a script that it creates a array of one, what did I put? I put 100,000 WIDs. And as you can see here, it took four minutes and 18 seconds to complete that using this method. And just in case we're looking at this one, as you see here, where you define the array as a blank, blank one. And then for each GUID, we're going through and we're adding it to the array. Um, if you're looking online for examples and everything, you probably see this example a lot. And it is painfully slow compared to the alternative. So I think most people learn out, most people diving into it, this is what they're going to go for. And as you can see, if for something as simple as just 100,000 WIDs, it's not even doing anything all that complex with it. Four minutes, 18 seconds, that's a long time. Uh, so the better method to do this one is we're basically going to create a system collection and do it from there. Let's go in here, we don't need the out null. We're coming here, the array, we're doing a system collection generic list, and we're building a new list. And then for each one, we're going to add the GUID. So as you can see from the timing, make sure we ran that one 4 minutes, 18 seconds. We're going to run this one now. And I think it's going to take around 23 seconds, but we'll see. Oh, nope, that took 1.7 1, 1. seconds to complete. And if we come in here and take a look at the array we built, I'm going to have to cancel this because it is going to go through 100,000 GUIDs. So... That alone, you can see there, we took a four minute down to 1.7 seconds. That's actually way faster than I was expecting. But I mean, that's good, right? That's good. So generally in a script, if you're going in there where you're building an array and you're adding it to that, you're, you're running a slow method. If you go through and you add this one, that's probably going to recover a bunch of time for you right there. Another thing to go through is if you're reading through a file and, and, you're, and you're saving that one, um, is you're probably doing git content and you're looking through that one where you could do a stream reader will go line by line and go a little bit faster. I'll be honest on this one and I'll just show you the two examples I have that are running them. Unless you're going through just a massive file, the, the what you gain from this one is going to be pretty small. Uh, and basically what we did is we took the same the temp file, say I exported my 100,000 GUIDs and put it in there and in the middle I added a line of text. This is going to git content and we don't need that extra line there. It's going to get content, it's going to pull in that file, and then for each line it's going to go through. When it finds test in there, it's just going to write howdy, and then it's going to break and stop. Uh, where for the stream reader, we're going to go here and put this in there. It's going to be the same thing. We're looking at the same file, uh, but instead of doing the git object going through it, we're going to go stream reader, and then for each read line, it's going to basically say, if test in there, it'll do the exact same thing and it'll break it there. Um, I ran this against the 100,000 on each one and the difference was is like one and a half seconds versus 1.2 seconds. Like it's a very small gain here. So it's, this is more if you're dealing with a massive file reading through where you're looking for something very specific, you'll gain a little bit of time. Uh, the, the last thing we want to go over is uh, for each loops. I believe it or not, well, for each is doing the, basically the same thing. It's going about it different on if you do for each and send that right into, or you're grabbing all the information in there versus you're grabbing everything and piping it into a for each. And the main difference you're getting on that is if you do grab all your content and pipe it into, is it going to grab each item and then go through the loop, which can be slower or can be faster depending on what's going. Where if it's the for each is on the left side with no pipe, it's going to load all of that into memory and it's gonna run through it. Now, the reason why I'm not saying which one is faster here, there's a lot of variables how much memory you have, how big the file is you're grabbing. But if you have a lot of memory, chances are not piping it into you is gonna be a little bit faster. But that's just a good chase, uh, chance to test that one out with a measure command. Uh, I guess one thing I didn't mention with that uh, 
stream reader, you want to close that at the end. Otherwise, it's going to keep the file open in access and it can cause a little bit of issues. So it's just uh, whatever you named the stream reader dot close and that will kill that out. <clears throat> and that's kind of three just just quick things we can go over. Just remember, if you're building an array and you're doing the equals and then the, the at sign with the parentheses, that is slow. You're not going to see it normally, but for anything bigger, you're going to see it big time. So you want to do this here where we're creating a list object. Uh, <clears throat> last one, if you're reading through the file, stream reader is going to be faster. Uh, the longer it is, the more you're going to save there. That's a minor one. And the second one is for each, uh, know what you're running it on. If you have plenty of memory and you're fine loading it all into memory, don't bother running the command then piping it into, that's just going to slow you down. Uh, hopefully with these three, it'll help you get started and get you diving into other ways that you can, you can save uh, time on your automated scripts. Uh, go grab something you got running and uh, speed it up. Uh, for p2.com, I'm Jordan.